has to be one of the most fakest deliverance videos I've seen. Stay tuned. All things theology, all things theology. We chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hallowed because this is how we do it at All Things Theology. Yo, grace and peace, and welcome back to an episode of All Things Theology. Well, this is your host, K Dub, and today we're going to talk about a magical leg growing back. Yes, Daniel Adams. I have critiqued his deliverance ministries, the obviously acting and etc. We'll show you how why I believe that clearly today. Recently, he posted a video talking about a well, let's see what it's called. It's her leg began to grow. And when I first saw the title, I thought it was one of those classic, you know, we're going to do the little shoe thing. If you ever seen these uh, guys trying to make people's leg grow back, it's usually make they have the shoe right and they they push the shoe in it makes the leg look like it's uh it makes the other leg look like it's growing well this one was actually a girl who had her legs one of them was clearly longer than the other and it didn't work out as well for him so let's check it out thank you for this girl's leg i command this leg right now grow out all the way bones be recreated joints be recreated this is a great physician, her name is Jesus. Hey, listen, listen. You don't have to fall. <laughs> I, if you don't fall, it's okay. You hear? <laughs> so they're, they're, this girl is clearly being coached, right? She's she's trying to fall, but obviously she has medical issues. And so Daniel <laughs> doesn't want to get sued, and rightly so. Hey, you don't have to fall, right? Because obviously you don't want any liability. I don't know if he has deliverance liability insurance. But smart move by Daniel. Daniel. Right. This girl is actually um, actually has a abnormality. She actually has an infirmity, a disease, sickness, whatever you want to call it. And she's treated a little differently from the outgo than other people that come to rock the deliverance stage. Right. So he's like, hey, don't fall. You don't have to fall. Right. <laughs> hey, what? hold on. Wait, how are you going to tell her not to fall? If the power of God is so strong. So apparently, I guess you can re resist. See, these guys contradict themselves from video to video. Okay, let's keep going. But if you do, it's Jesus. It's not me, all right? <laughs> okay. Well, actually, it's you. Because watch all the videos. It's you <laughs> punching them down and pushing them over. So, yeah, it's you. Okay. okay. So where do you need healing from, young lady? Oh, you live? You want Jesus to heal it? Now, this is sad, guys. And this is why I do these videos. Uh, because this girl actually has something wrong with her, and we're going to see how it turns out. What's wrong with it? So there's clearly a leg that's longer, right? You can see, I mean, she, she I mean, God bless her heart. God bless her, right? May, may God actually truly provide healing, right? She doesn't need it from these fake deliverances, right? She, she, she can get medical attention. God works oftentimes with medical uses, right? Um, so that's not to say he doesn't heal miraculously. He, he obviously can but there's, there's no need to go down an aisle to come to these guys, right? That's the point I'm making. It's about three inches shorter. Oh, you have a shorter leg? Can you sit right here for me real quick? Come on. We're going to see a leg grow out. Let's see. So here comes the... Um, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here. Here comes the alleged healing. And, and guys, like, like, let's be honest. Do we see an actual difference? Because there's going to be a claim made in this video about some difference that's being able to see but one one leg is longer than the other very clearly and you'll be able just in case you haven't been able to tell you'll be able to tell very clearly um when she gets up and walks here in a second but no 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 it's okay I'm, it's not like the doctor where it's painful okay this is a great physician his name is jesus father i thank you for this girl's leg I command this leg right now. Grow out. Now you can see, right? She obviously has some kind of wounds there, holes. Like looks like holes in, literally in her leg. So this is when I was like, okay, this is for for real, for real. She actually is, you know, ha has some issue with her legs, very clearly. All the way, bones be recreated, joints be recreated. Now, now. And you can see this leg that he's holding in his right hand 
is the longer leg. The uh, obviously, I mean, you can tell that too because she has some kind of device on her foot. I'm assuming to uh, even help with walking and stability and things like that. All the way. All the way. I think we may have gained like an inch. I, th I think we've gained an inch. <laughs> well, you don't guess. I mean, I mean, if God gave you the ability to heal her, heal her all the way. I mean, don't give her a halfway heal. Well, not even a halfway healing. It's a one third healing. And then, you know, I think, um, anyways, I think you got like an extra inch. So I think, far. I think now there's been no visible difference, uh, in this, and we're going to see when she walks. I mean, but the poor girl, poor girl. Can you tell them what you felt your leg doing? You felt your leg growing? So I felt it growing, she says. Well, now that she's up here, she can't be she can't be real, right? She has to play into the theatrics of Daniel Adams, right? You can feel like it's growing, but let's actually get a ruler. Let's actually measure this healing. Since you since you haven't healed it fully, I mean, since I mean, how how cruel you claim you have the gift of healing and deliverance to cause these miracles yet um can't can't you got to give one third for her i guess I, I i don't get that i know that it's not all the way out but just to see that something has taken place and some inches have came back can you walk to tell me if you feel a little bit of a difference be, be honest with me though okay i want you to tell me if you really well, she can't. walk are you feeling a little bit of a difference can you walk by yourself, by poor, poor girl, poor girl. Now, now look. I, I mean, if that's t two inches shorter, I mean, that that looks. <laughs> it, look, look how far this knee has to bend. Look at her hips. I mean, you can tell. I, I can assure you, this girl's probably in pain just even doing this right now. But this is what happens oftentimes in um. A lot of these deliverance ministries, right? They they go up there and and, and, and you know you know what? I'll I will grant that she feels no pain just due to the um there's a sense of you know, psychologists have, have uh documented this kind of thing that happens during uh healing ministries where they have an initial feeling where like all the pain's gone and you know, and you know, the shoulder pain they got prayed for is miraculously gone. They're able to for momentarily lift their arms until the next day until the next day so i would be curious to see this young girl uh if the next day hey describe how she feels because she's going to do a little post interview right now now you, you know it's funny if this was a grown adult they would say this is a demon but it, there's a little sensitivity when it comes to children not to be so quick to call this per this young girl a demon possessed right <laughs> A little bit of a difference, huh? Is that a big difference or a little bit? Just a little. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, not big. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. Just a little. Just a little. Now, we're going to see her change her answer here in a bit, but, right, after they coached her up, I'm sure, but, but watch this. A little bit of a difference when you're walking. I think you got, you got about an inch, half an inch right there. So here's what I want. Oh, now you're changing an inch. Maybe half an inch. Maybe half an inch. I want my team to keep playing for her. I believe her leg will come out more. Is that okay? Hey, guys. It's me, Isaiah Poche with The Supernatural Life here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And it is day three, the last and final day. But it's been a wonderful day. And I'm actually here with... Lillian. And... Briella. And guys, we have been blessed by the presence of God. We have been blessed by His glory, His goodness. And they are here to testify of it firsthand, witness, eyewitness of what happened. Briella, can I start with you? Um, could you explain to me and the viewers, because some people might not understand what you even got prayed for, but what happened today? They were praying for my leg. My leg was growing as long as the other one. Did your leg change? Now, she claims her leg was growing as long as the other one. Right. But we didn't see that in the video. We saw a clear distinction in difference with the two legs. Now, wouldn't it be just easy right now just to show us <laughs> like, wouldn't you want to document 
hey, both of these legs are the same. But but clearly she's behind the table. Usually they do it standing, but nevertheless, she's behind this table. So we can't even verify this, right? This is just some kind of hidden eyewitness testimony that they have here. Very interesting. You know, Jesus ministry, his, his miracles were public. They weren't just hearsay like, hey, yeah, it happened at the house. And, you know, that person, you know, they, they, they're they just going to stay there because, you know, they're, they're just not feeling well right now. And we're going to keep them hidden from the public. <laughs> no, these things were publicly done. Even if they were in private, the person showed up in public. And they're like, hold on. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I was. But Jesus raised me from the dead. You know, stuff like that happened quite often. But. We can even verify this. Genuinely grow. Like, did it actually grow or, or, or do you feel like it grew? Can you tell it's a... <laughs> did it grow or did it feel like it grew? <laughs> difference, like a big difference. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, at first the answer was just a little difference. Now it's a big difference after, you know, they've prayed for her, which I, I, I believe she got coached. But anyways, nevertheless, it's a big difference, but we're not going to show y'all. Y'all just got to believe for yourself. How much shorter was your leg before than the other one? Like one, two, three inches? How many inches? Do you know how? Many? I don't really know. You don't know how many? But, but it was a lot. Yeah. And you've had this since birth? Yes. Do you feel any strength coming to your leg? Yes. What would you tell those people that you're literally here talking about it right now? What would you say to them? I would tell them that it's not fake, it's real. Because I feel like growing and I was in the chair and they're putting for me. You know, this is real sad. I, I feel very, very sorrowful with this young lady. Um, and I do want to extend sensitivity because she's being used. You know, she is being used. You know, they ask her, hey, you, you, did it grow? Or I, Well, I feel like it's growing. You know, let me let me go back and play that. What would you tell those people that you're literally here talking about it right now? What would you say to them? I would tell them. It's not fake, it's real, because I feel like growing and I was in the chair. She says, I, I, I would tell them it's not fake, it's real, because I feel like it was growing. Well, I don't want to be too harsh on the young lady, right? And um, But feeling like it growing, it, it is growing. All Look, all you would have to prove to me to show me it's not real, that it's real and not fake, is just to show the legs. I mean, if that, that happened, I'd, I'd be like, my goodness, <laughs> a literal miracle just happened. I would be like, wow, maybe Daniel Adams. No, nah, I'm just kidding. He still would be a false teacher. But, uh, you know, the, a documented healing happened here. And so, I mean, you want to make a believer out of me, Daniel Adams, uh, young lady. Show show me, you know, the Jerry Murata. Show me the miracle. And they're praying for me. Really? This is your friend Lillian. You just met her today, right? Or yesterday? Oh, oh you... Oh, you met her last week. <laughs> and did you? Did, met in the office. You, with my grandfather. You met in the office, and you, and you you met her. So I work I work with her grandfather. I work for Orobus University. Oh my goodness! I it's, say less, say less on that heretic university. I mean, my goodness. So she came to the office, and we met like that. Shout out to Oral Roberts University, oh. ORU. Shout out to them. We went to the prayer. Oh, man. That, that lets you know all the theology from there anyway. Oral Roberts was just a mass deceiver. Absolutely. Tower earlier was amazing. So you, you guys aren't even related. You guys met a week ago. Your, your grandfather invited you to this event, and now you guys both got healed. Friends that get healed together stay together. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, the the the... You see the words on the screen aren't even matching up. Come on, Daniel Adams. Jesus thing. So what would you tell the people that are watching this right now that, that don't now believe they in healing or don't believe that God still works in people's lives? Like hey, let me just be clear. I believe in healing. I just don't accept every healing is authentic, right? There are fraudulent people out there. So, um, again, just show, just demonstrate the claim. Like that in a physical way. What would you say to them? I would say that the compassion that Jesus had when he walked on earth is still the, it's still the same compassion that he has uh, for us. And um, before he went to heaven, he told the disciples to go out and actually heal people. And the Holy Spirit that lives in us uh, enables, like, enables people to go out and pray for others to get healed. It's a real thing. 
I've experienced I've experienced it several times, and I just experienced it again. Um, so people should not leave without hope. They but why not show us show show us the experience? I mean, to only to show us the experience with just the plop home girl up on the legs and right she or show a video of her literally walking straight and then that would prove everything come to jesus and like uh give them their whole heart and have faith in god would heal them praise god thank you I'm gonna and so the uh, the what she's saying is actually dangerous because you know she's saying hey you know if you have faith god would heal you so the so for all those who aren't healed it's really because you don't have faith and this is the actual danger of the deliverance ministries people who for for god's purposes right who die of uh their illnesses who have illnesses for a long time they're always the blame rather than the providence of god go and read john 9 to see that the man who who was walking with living with his infirmity blindness was blind from birth and notice the 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 pharisees are asking whose fault was it him or his parents <laughs> now if you listen to what these people you would expect jesus to say oh this man lack of faith but that's not what jesus says jesus says to that to the to the pharisees this is for the providence of God. I'm summarizing, of course, for this appointed time. Right. So these guys have no view of the sovereignty of God when it comes to healing, unless they get it wrong. Right. Unless they can't heal the person, then God is sovereign. <laughs> it's always funny how that works. God, Briella, thank you. Thank you. She's awesome. She's only nine years old, guys. So that's that's glory to God. But if you guys haven't already subscribe, like Hit the notification bell. Oh, this is Share sad, the video so other people can be impacted by this powerful testimony. Powerful. And on top of that, if you haven't already, become a forerunner at www.thesupernaturallife.org. Guys, it's just the beginning, but it's the end of Broken Era for now. In Jesus' name, it is finished. God bless you guys. No, I'm just, I'm just playing it all the way just to show you that there is no extra video. There's no extra video to this that documents this young lady actually walking. Very sad, guys. Pray, pray for, pray for, you know, many of the, many of the actual victims are the people like the young girl who go to these uh, deliverance ministries to get a uh, healing, never to receive one or to get a momentary feeling like they were actually healed. Maybe like she feels. Pray for these guys, uh, preach the gospel to them and hope that they would come to true deliverance i.e. coming to know Christ. Till the next time, y'all, grace and peace. Yo, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you heard here today, why don't you go and leave me a like? Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly content, lives, interacting, exposing false teachers, showing you my theological beliefs and what I believe the Bible teaches. So if you're here for that, go on and join us.